Right, so if, if you're in, in love with Kiefer, what are you doing with a guy like Ethan? I don't know. He's cool and funny and gorgeous. And older. <laughs> what? Look, just because they're older, it doesn't make them better, okay? Come on. All right, um, I did have to talk to you about something, actually. Mm -hmm. Your your dad came to me, and he wanted me to talk to you. Could we not talk about my dad right now? Wait a minute, listen to me. Your father loves you. He wants to be there for you. And you know what? He's human. He's made mistakes, too. So you, you think that the reason I like older guys has something to do with my dad? No, I'm not, I'm not saying that. I'm, I'm just saying that, you know, sometimes the sound of an older guy is, like, really cool. But, but it's not. Because older, older guys know how to take advantage of girls, especially jerks like Ethan. When I was with Ethan, I felt better about myself. Are you kidding me? No, look, look at me, babe. You are smart. You're beautiful. You're amazing. And you don't need a guy, any guy to tell you that to make it true. And if you ever have any doubts at all, you come to me and I'll set you straight. Okay. I think maybe you should, you know, go wash your face and get into something comfortable. I mean, I, I, I can stay and we can watch a movie or something. No, no, you can go. I'm, I'm fine, I'll be fine. Okay. Well, call me, okay, if you need anything at all. Oh, look, now you're, like, you're so starting to channel mom. Oh, no, don't say that, because then I'll be in some serious trouble. You good? I love you. I love you, too. So, you better start talking to me. Sonny. Maybe I wasn't clear the last time we spoke, but my sister is 16 years old. Stay away from her. And if you ever lay a hand on her again, you'll wish you hadn't. How could I be so stupid? I mean, I thought you canceled because you were mad at me. Why would I be mad at you? How should I know? I bet you and Ethan had a good laugh at me, right? It wasn't like that. I'm sorry. My first party with guys from Harvard, and I show up like an idiot because you're off chasing Ethan in a dress I paid for? No, oh, you're hurting me! Carry your business. If this is about the conversation I had with Christina... Why are you even talking to her? I told you to stay away and you agreed to back off. I did back off. I, I tried. I told her she was too young for me and she didn't happen to agree. Oh, what? So you thought you'd shake her around a little bit to send the message? What? I didn't shake her. What are you talking about? You put your hands on my little sister in a forceful way. I saw the bruises. And if you think I'm going to stand by and, and let you knock Christina around... Let me get one thing straight with you. You're a dead man. Wait a minute. There were, there were bruises. No, stop! No! Stop! Private. And here he is. They force her. 
here to update you on the status of his latest assignment. How is Michael, by the way? Is he enjoying being stashed away wherever you got him? Oh, come on, guys. I want to be in the clubhouse of knowledge, too. I mean, I mean, it's all in the family, right? Yeah, your family. He's a cop, Sonny. Yeah, that's right, I am. So, Sonny, why don't you stop this lip service of protecting Michael and actually do something that might help him? You get a suggestion for that? Yeah, I do. Stop putting this kid through endless types of hell. Tell me where he is. Let him come clean about Claudia's murder. Let this kid pick up the pieces of whatever's left of his life and maybe he has a shot at living a normal one. I'm helping Michael the best way I know okay, you how. You don't have to justify anything to him. Okay, and you, you can't walk in here whenever you feel like well, it Well, he's now. welcome, because I told well, him he, he shouldn't was. be welcome. Well, why is that? Is it Sonny's freedom, the future of the organization? I mean, it all gets shot to hell if Michael testifies, right? I mean, I see that you're trying to make yourself feel better by proclaiming to everybody that you have Michael's best interests in mind. Protecting him, being a good dad, but really, it's, it's not that complicated, is it? I mean, this is really just you. Your case is circumstantial, and the game changes with Michael's testimony, and you're pressuring him so you don't go to prison. I'm sorry that you see me that way. Look, you killed your unconvenient wife and your son saw you do it. Like any father I know would want to remove that burden from their child, not hide behind him. So you let this kid tell the truth. You do that. If you're the father you say you are. From that he's guy. entitled to feel the way he wants he, to feel. He's not entitled to the truth about that night. Please tell me that when I walked in here, you weren't going to tell him that Michael killed Claudia. Yeah, Christina had bruises on her arm. I didn't. I did grab Christina, yes, but not to hurt her. She was being unreasonable. I mean, I tried to tell her once again that she's too young for me, and her response when I rejected her was to have a full-blown hissy fit. Now, mind you, this was all after she'd hacked into my email, canceled my date for tonight, and thrown a drink in my Nick face. Clark, what are you kidding? That doesn't sound like her at all. Well, maybe you don't know her as well as you think, okay? I, I felt sorry for your sister. I was nice to her, but I never let her on. She made up some fantasy in her head that was never any part of oh, reality. Oh, I get it. So you thought you'd end that fantasy by roughing her up oh, a little it's bit? it's not like that. No? You know, this is making my cousin. I don't I'm care. Sorry. Too bad. He thinks it's okay to make Manhandled women. Look, your sister is a spoiled brat who's gonna get into a lot of trouble if someone doesn't rein her in. All right, you calm down. Look, Sam, I was here when it went down. He could have handled it smoother, but she's got no business coming in here when my casino is open. Wait, are, let me get this straight. You two grown ass men are gonna stand here and tell me that she got what she deserved? she would not be even try and spin this. Any little girl who wouldn't keep her mouth shut deserves what she gets, and, and any man worth a damn would just shut it for her, right? I was trying to help your sister, okay? I never meant to hurt her. Uh -huh. Sam, he's not lying. He didn't mess with Christina. She's underage. She's not gonna cross that line. But you don't know that. I mean, what do you really know about this guy anyway? Jack, he's a, he's a con who came into town capitalizing off of a dead broad. And there's a great character reference for you, huh? Hey, you come near my sister again, you'll have more than a few bruises to show for it. I think I would have told Dante. What do you what do you mean you don't think? God, Jason, I'm not I'm not sure what's right anymore. Well, what's right is 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 committed to protecting Michael. That's what's There's right. There's another son in the mix. It's a fact. I'm Dante's father. He's my son. He's not some detached cop. He has genuine concern for Morgan and, and for Michael, his brothers. I'm sure he'd be compassionate. He'd come to understand why I've been covering all this time. I think you don't want Dante to believe that you're 
capable of beating a woman to death.